Well, tonight I'm working again with uh, Slayer Exciter, and uh, uh, G. Bluer is uh, his name here at YouTube, and go over and check out his videos. Um, he also goes by Slayer007, and his last video, he's running his Exciter, which is a little different than mine, off a AA battery. It's not going through a phone charger or anything, it's just a AA battery. And so I worked all day on that to see if I could get it to work, and it works. You can work this off of a AA battery and actually make the circuit do some phenomenal things. I need to make a bigger coil here. This should be three inches in diameter instead of about two, two and a half, and then 16 inches long. But mine does work. And then I, I tried something tonight. I'm just running this off this little solar panel. It's about a five and a half volt uh, cell phone charger uh, s solar panel. And then I'm going to show this running off a little button cell here. And you can see the standing voltage on this um, panel right now is a 1.36 volts and I'm sorry that's the amp draw that's 1.36 milliamps and the voltage on the uh, system is about uh, three quarter half a volt it's fluctuating around because the system's running right now now the way you can tell it's running is it's actually in a blink mode and you can see this uh, LED blinking out in space here uh, that's how this is running. This is in a blinking mode, and I've got a capacitor here to cause that to happen. In other words, that capacitor is charging up, discharging, firing off the circuit, and that's causing this LED to flash in mid-space. Now over here is a chunk of aluminum. I can show it's blinking over here too. And this is wireless transmission of energy. Uh, using high frequency. This is running in the megahertz range and this is different than what I showed before where it was that transmission of energy with a rotating flux field at very very low frequencies and this is the high frequency transmission of energy. Now I'm going to plug in this little button cell here. You'll see the voltage go up and the amperage go up. Voltage went up to uh, 1.3 uh, 1.5 volts. Let's see if I can get a reading on that. 1.4, 1.5 milliamp draw went way up. Let me turn that down here so we don't overload that little button cell. Yeah, that's more like it. That 10, 11 milliamps. That won't run very long, but at least it's running. And let me show you what I've got going on now. Now I have real uh, transmission of energy all over the place, way out here. And I've even got it so that it would light up a uh, a neon. And that's off that little button cell. And that's running at uh, 11 milliamps at uh, 1.27 uh, volts. And it will light up uh, one of these panels here pretty darn bright. It'll do it... Uh, quite nicely. This is 12, uh, 12 LEDs. It'll light up more. And uh, like I say, it's uh, a situation where the, uh, the thing is running on a volt and a half or less. And it's still putting out this high voltage. And I thought that was very interesting that you could make one of these exciter circuits work um, on that kind of a voltage and get it to uh, transmit wirelessly. Uh, quite a ways away. Let me move this block. I can move this block way over here around the edge of the table, way away from the exciter, and that'll still go off. Not too far. Anyway, so that's my show for tonight. This is the Slayer Exciter. This is uh, G. Bluer's uh, setup, and it's running off of um, the little button cell right now or that little solar panel at very low wattage, and it's producing uh, wireless transmission of energy at very, very low wattage. Thanks for watching.